Okay, here we go. And you can Again. see the uh, uh, AFR cage showing the 10 AFR. And you also see the short trim fuels are rich, okay, minus 18. And that means the car is running rich in uh, all the fuel tables, okay. Especially on partial throttle or slow traffic, okay, almost 9 times speed. So I will need tuning that too. So that's with what I will be tuning now with the auto tune function with the Honda Data Flash Pro, okay. Um, but because here was traffic and lot of noise, so let us go home and I will show you clearly how to set up the tables and settings and then we will hit the road again and do the resting. Okay guys, today we are gonna go for the automatic tuning of this because we have upgraded turbo, we have upgraded fuel system, so that's why we will be using our Data Flash Pro for the automatic tuning. So before we hit the road and I will quickly brief you about how to proper set up the settings for that, okay. Previously on my channel you see this video but that video is mostly about the partial throttle in this video I will cover mostly the turbo and then some partial throttle Okay, remember the sensors in auto tune there uh, if I recommend the two sensor, okay The external wideband sensor that's there because the car is cold so it is running slightly rich as you can see from the short fuel trims here they are now 27 and look at that the difference between wideband and internal, okay so the internal is uh, nearly 0 0.10 off okay and that's because the ground for internal uh, internal sensor is in the engine bay okay intake manifold there location i will show the pick and the ground for this is uh, just uh, here from the fuse box so that's there is slight difference okay it's best you provide the ground uh, same ground to both but that's the minor difference okay point one point and this is the corrected and this one are almost the same okay so and it's bet, best you have two sensors because if one fails then the other can cover that okay and uh, because this is turbo and if this is uh, natural aspirated then it's okay but for turbo nitrous and superchargers the two sensors are better okay so let us quickly jump to the important parameters and the most parameters we use using is in the settings and here the one are the lambda and the other is auto tune just these two, two sections okay and the other one is the map fuel cut okay that's very important okay let's quickly adjust our this is my calibration this is five speed manual with long uh, gear ratios fuel injector size i have not changed here but i have changed in the uh, fuel tables okay that's the same thing and we will not touching the ignition and uh, close loop here it is um, this is option is checked because we are turbo we will using map to determine the boot and where is the our boost cut okay boost cut here it is let's convert it into the psi so 11 is right now and remember the turbo and the intercooler there is slightly lag okay the, this uh, turbo boost cage is directly connected to intercooler but the reading which is coming into the manifold okay that is this reading is from the intake manifold so there is nearly 2 psi or 1.5 psi loss from turbo to the intake manifold because of the intercooler piping and all that intercooler etc so that's where i have set it to uh, let's set it to 12 okay and uh, at, at, at gauge we will be seeing nearly 13 to 14 one one bar okay so that's cover that this is the uh, k24 a2 so rev limit is 7400 is okay okay speed adjustment uh, it is using the four bar map sensor and speed adjustment let's not touch that and miscellaneous and since i have uh, mainly tuned my other map so it is safe for uh, turbo tuning it's safe if you uh, enrich the fuel maps before okay uh, starting auto tune it's always safe to get uh, to be rich instead of lean okay so uh, you add almost 10 to 20 percent fuel in all the tables and then let the auto tune uh, minus the fuel okay so it's better uh, if you are starting from scratch i recommend you start from validate for example 4 psi boost cut etc okay 
so right now we will be setting it to our 12 13 psi in beginning you will just uh, apply 2 psi 3 psi and as you those are tuned then you can increase the boost level okay and because i already uh, tuned that uh, low boost level so now that's why i was using high boost here okay okay and here are the settings then we will go into the settings and lambda okay in open loop we will be using the analog wideband okay so that will be safe in closed loop we will be using the corrected lambda settings that's it and here transition we need to be very short okay this is very important look for normal tuning partial fuel tuning one gear takes a lot but in the turbo taking a, a third gear pull just takes 10 seconds okay or maybe 8 seconds so that 8 seconds the whole map is covered okay so that's why the transition should be very short this transition time should be very short let's uh, give it to 0.25 seconds so that's this will be making the changes quick okay and then we will be going about our loops okay high load let's convert it into psi so above 2 psi it will be considering the high load it will be uh, targeting for the 12.5 or 11.8 uh, ratio okay the fuel trims let's because we are turbo let's change them to 11.8 okay so this is the target after 2 psi so that will be safe rather 3 psi okay because okay and this is medium load and then is the auto tune this is the best setting uh, minimum lambda let's set it to 11.08 maximum this one maximum cheese 10 percent is okay make adjustment every 10 seconds so we'll be change this to every half second okay and then four weighted cells four weighted cells are it is making more changes okay in turbo we want to use the four weighted cell initially then later on we will be doing this and also play the sound so these parameters are covered and now we will be going selecting the auto tune maps click will be clicking here and we will be selecting selecting the this low and high fuel first you will click this and then first clear all you will check low and high cam fuel tables and then we will be unchecking the low low fuel because on low fuel it will be making the changes and we don't know it is the change with the sound okay when the auto tune works it beeps so if you have checked both you will not know it is doing the changes in the high map or not there are a very important point if you have a bigger engine and a small turbo for example in my k24 i am using gt2867 r turbo so that turbo spools very fast so at this time i did not note that but later on you will see in the videos that uh, the fuel adjustment beeps were coming very late in the rpms because the turbo was pulling in the low speed tables which i have not selected in the auto tune okay i only selected the high fuel table but the turbo, turbo boost was coming in the low table so i recommend you check them both if you have a small turbo which spools very fast so i will be not tuning the fuel low today just the high okay and boot adjustment low we will uncheck that so just boot lambda adjustment high and the fuel this one fuel high that's it we have selected the map and now we will be we are ready to upload the map first control s save the map and the map is saved now i'll be turn my ignition off let's upload the map and here we go so after uploading the map we will be going the road and take the data logs and see what happens you see although on two days back i uploaded the same map but now when i started the car the icon of the auto tune that uh, music icon this one it is grayed out that's because people think what they are doing wrong it's just simple just upload the map fresh okay now what i will do is i'll shut off the car and re-upload this map and that icon will be uh, working this will be black auto tune will be ready okay? 
Okay, map has been uploaded. Let's start again. Now see if that icon has turned grey or not. Okay, that. Just ignore the circle. It is clicking. All right. Look at that. If I click it, this icon will be in life. You see. So uh, everything is working. Just this stupid mouse circle. This is not working. So let's go for the tuning. Okay. The road is good, but uh, less traffic. I should sh shift to that lane. That looks empty. And my little cam will be recording this boost gauge and air pan and all the other parameters are here with me. Now we see the wheels are there, but those were very at the end, okay? Because car is still cold, so boost is coming slightly late. But that we want. You heard in a normal tuning, the beeps are slightly slow but now we have reduced interval between the changes so it was quick beeps tee, 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 and that's we want in the turbo tuning because you know a third gear pull just takes nearly you know six to eight seconds so we want the changes to be in that short period of time Let's change the settings. Setting to 2 psi. Okay, 2 psi is high load, and other settings are lacking. Good. Stop the recording. Stop the auto tune. Then we will press Control S so that this map is saved as base map. So now this has become the new base map. One beep. Let's take a third gear. Uh, later on I discovered that the boost was coming so early that these were the uh, low fuel tables which I did not select okay so that's why later on I uh, noted that in data logs and then adjusted that and this was just to show the method okay how you can uh, do the turbo tuning and now we will do the uh, that partial throttle tuning okay, while we are here let's tune some okay low to few low and lambda adjustment low and close okay starting the live uh, tuning of the partial throttle control T here we go okay I think we should decrease the setting every two seconds that is too much okay let's setting and uh, transition delay auto tune every let's see every five every half second let's see now it quick beeps or not fast for the partial tuning because you know uh, the AFR gauge has slight delay and engine reads that and that fuel is adjusted and then uh, the fuel tables are adjusted so there must be at least uh, one second delay so this is again too fast for the normal throttle but for the turbo it's okay We are rich, okay. So let's control S and this will become the base map, okay. Look at that, okay. This has become the base map. If you see, there is a five frame, just keep driving that area. So that look at that, it was five and now it's one. So it has. Tune that area. 
Let's shift to next area. Here it is seven. Keep driving it. Look at that. It became okay. Okay. So that's the trick. If you are hearing a lot of beeps, keep at, at that area until the beep becomes less and less. That way that area is tuned. Okay. Now in the city, for the perfect partial tuning, I have changed the settings to the precise cell. That is the end setting. That will give you almost zero fuel trip. One to zero. So that's your end. When the tuning session is about to end, just shift it to precise cell. Okay? To save the setting and options, setting, precise cell, close the cell. Okay, first is the four weighted cell and then you will use, use, use the closest cell and then at the last you will use first, second and the last is the precise cell. And you don't need to upload map or download again, okay? This setting in the flash, uh, in the laptop does not need to upload it again map, okay? I have just uploaded it once or two, okay? Still, the partial tuning is live when I making the changes, okay? And because I went city, I was not in the open exhaust, okay? Which is with this button. And uh, that's why the turbo was spooling slightly later and then i have also various muffler this is the second one this also opens and closes and the car becomes very quiet okay hope you like the video subscribe and share